Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how I combine the torque of bearings compared to the speed of the bearing. So, what this does is that effectively, I turn this on. This combines the speed of the bearing because this turns this block, which spins the bearing while it is also spinning, which speeds up this block and so on. The more bearings you go. So, what I did was that. I use this system right here where all of these bearings are connected to stationary blocks which on suspension and what happens is that when these turn these are all combined with this pipe piece right here and the pipe piece goes through the suspension because it has no collision and effectively it combines the torque of all the bearings so this is the final result And to show you how powerful it is, I'll be comparing it to a normal car pulling the same, the same trailer. Uh, first let me show you the normal car. It struggles a bit. It still pulls it. Fine. Now let's go over to the next car. Someone pulls it no problem, doesn't even care. Oh, other than the time it just wants to flip over. But, yeah, you can see, it's a lot of power. Wants to wheelie too. I guess that's it. Thanks for watching and bye.